Just built this table. We got a fun project for today. Stay right there. You see it? Isn't it beautiful? Let's talk about what's going on here. So these are all of our incubators. It's every incubator we've ever used. I, I used one other, uh, like one of those little giant ones I borrowed from a neighbor uh, when we first started hatching eggs, but this is every incubator we own. There are seven incubators here and we're gonna do the ultimate incubator test. You guys ready for this? This one's a super cheap one, like $20, $30 on Amazon. Brinzy Maxi Advance, probably our number two incubator right now. This is the Wright Farm 3600 incubator. This is really the incubator we used for the first couple years. This is our main incubator. This is the Brinzy Ova Easy Advance 100. This one is a beast, it does amazing. This is one we used earlier this year. This is the Barato Lumia 16 incubator. That one's a lot of fun. This is the, ooh, this is the cool this one. This is the DIY one that our son Eli made earlier this year. This is the Lego incubator. I'm excited to try that out and again. And this is one more of those cheap ones, like 20, 25 bucks off Amazon. So we're gonna test all of our incubators at the exact same time, but we need some eggs. Let's get something really crazy. So this is our omelet coop. We used this earlier in the year for our bantam flock and they outgrew it. But this is perfect for a little breeding flock. This thing's great. It's got an automatic door, simple little access to the nesting box, access to the back. It can clean out tray for the poop and then a hanging water and feeder right there. So now all we need are some chickens. I've got just chickens. the birds for it. Got the first one. I don't know if she's even laying right now though. Kind of rough looking. She's old. You want some? Yeah. Grab some. Can you throw it out? Good job. Mama's on it. Oh, got her. Who's this? This is an I am Shimani hen. And you might remember we hatched these guys out almost two years ago now. And they are all black. And so there's something we definitely want to breed more of. Go mom, go! Oh. Oh, we got him. Becky. We got him. Who did we get? Johnny. Our all black rooster heading over. All right, who we got here? Amber. We got Amber, our sweet Americana. You want to catch somebody? Go get chicken. All right, who's this? Sandy. Sandy. A cool little Easter egg that started laying earlier this year. <laughs> so our I am Chimani's, we hatched them out for eggs from eBay almost two years ago now. And so we have Johnny Cash and two I am Chimani hens. They're Cool because they're melanistic where they're all black. So even their, their tongue, their bones, their their beak, everything about them is all black. And then we've got three Easter Egger Americana hens over here. And so besides their egg colors, we want to see what some Americanas would look like crossed with I am Chimani's. Earlier this year we crossed I am Chimani's and Moran's and I am Chimani's with Silkies and got Woo and Pat and Mahomes. Three cool looking hens. Now we just need to, them to stay in here and lay us a bunch of eggs for all of our incubators. So today's video is sponsored by Grubterra, and we just got a package from them. Let's open it up. All right, what do we got in the bag? Uh, big. So we partnered with Grubterra last year. They were doing a fundraising campaign on Indiegogo, and they came out with some one pound bags of soldier fly larvae. And now they've just come out with a five pound bag. This thing is humongous, and it's pretty cool. They actually take 20 pounds of food waste create one pound of food or chicken treats for your chickens. Let's open this up and give some to Johnny Cash and the girls. They're tricky, tricky. They're tricky. They're tricky. So of course we raise mealworms here on our farm and these black soldier fly larvae actually have 75% more calcium than our mealworms do. So not only is it helping upcycle food waste, also creating a healthy treat for your chickens. And it's also helping a small business. And we're all about that here at White House on the Hill. Come on, Johnny. Oh, you're gonna give them some? Give them. Oh, wrong. So we'd love for you to try some. We've got a link down in the description. And then use our code WHOTH10 for White House on the Hill and get 10% off your order of Grubterra. Now let's start incubating some eggs. All right, well, we've been collecting eggs over the last couple of weeks. You can see that we have significantly more Americana Easter eggs. Quite a few less I am Chimani eggs. We've got one, six, two, seven, eight 
I am Chimani eggs and 16 Easter egg rigs. So we'll have one I am Chimani egg in every incubator and then a couple Easter egg eggs in the other ones. And then if we get a few over the next couple of days, uh, we'll get them in the incubators as well. So let's start to put them in the incubator and show you our incubator lineup. All right, here are my predictions for what will happen. Here. I don't think these will hatch. This one, I can't control the temperature. Lego incubator, I think I'll get one to two. The Burrato, I think I'll get three or four. I'll guess three out of those five. Here, I'm guessing three out of the four. Here, I'm guessing two. I'll get two out of four. Here, I'll get three. Three out of the four. And here, I'll get one. Let's have some fun. Hatch out some IM Chimani's. So outside, it's freezing. And inside, we've got eggs that are about a week away from hatching. Everything's been pretty stressed out here as far as trying to control the temperature because a lot of the clear containers just can't keep out the cold weather. This incubator just never quite worked right. I could never get the, the temperature controlled. At 56 degrees, no chance those eggs are hatching. Lego incubator's looking good. It's actually keeping temperature having the blanket over it, but humidity is one hard thing to control in there. A couple of these I have to manually rotate the eggs on. Lego incubator is one of those. I'm just making sure the heat gets to all parts of the egg throughout the process. Our Italian incubator, the Barato Lumia 16, it actually keeps good temperature. I don't even have to have this covered. This one does a really good job. Probably second best of all the incubators next to the OVZ that I don't have to worry about the temperature really at all. Over here, the Wright Farm, it's keeping good. It's keeping good temperature. This cheap little circular dome deal. I can't get the temperature to go up at all anymore. It's at 65 and I can't get it to, to go up anymore, even with having it covered. And then our Maxi Advance, it's keeping good temperature. So I don't have to worry about that too much, but the blanket really helps. So that shows you a little bit as far as what you have to do to help regulate these. If you are in a an area where you don't have heating, the Maxi Advance and the Lego Incubator, it really helps to have some covering. And then the other two are just junk. So go ahead and just, if you open them out of the box, just go ahead and throw them away because they're not going to work for you. So it is day 19 and it's time to check the, oh, sorry, got me on Halloween night here. Dressed up like a chicken, silly me. You know what? I'm going to keep it on. I'm going to keep it on just for this. Time to switch all these incubators over, switch them from rotating, switch them to getting the eggs ready to hatch. So each incubator's got a different thing to do for it. So this one I've already taken out. I've already taken out the egg turner, but I'm going to leave these alone. I took the blanket off today because it was really warm out and now it's getting cold again. So I need to put the blanket back on tonight for them to hatch. Now we're getting to the Burrato Lumia. So this one I need to take the egg turner out, lay the eggs down flat on this clear bottom. In this incubator, we've got one egg that's starting to pip. Here at the Brinzi Ova Easy Advance, we need to stop the rotating. And so right now it's on an angle. That's the first step. That'll keep it from rotating, but then I also need to turn off the rotation. And then we can also take out the dividers if we'd like to. Let's see how we're doing in here. Ooh, we've got an I am Chimani egg that's pipping. So I can take out a divider. Now we're at the right farm incubator. This is another one with an egg turner inside that I need to take out. No eggs pipping that I could see there. This one I need to cover up with the blanket again. It's getting a little low but we do need to remove that egg turner in there and I need to change the settings. Oh man, can you hear that? I can hear eggs chirping at me in here. All right, so if the eggs I have a chance to hatch, no chance, no chance. I've got 13 Americana I Am Chimani Mix eggs and I've got nine pure I Am Chimani eggs. Let's see what hatches. I'm used to give all I have. I'm used to get nothing back. Wherever I go, it's the same There's no excuses, no one to blame Sometimes I can understand how it can be So hard to stay out of pain But with you, everything has changed Even though we both stay the same Would you call me on the midnight train? Would you come over when nothing's right? The Barato Lumia, we just had our first chick finish hatching, doing really well. This is a blonde Americana crossed with I am Chimani. I think this is probably Amber crossed with Johnny Cash.
Check over here on the Brinzy Maxi Advance. I've got three chicks have hatched out so far and I've got two more in the works. This one is getting close. after we moved the chicks into the brooder, hoping they all stayed warm enough last night. Yay! Seven healthy chicks and our cute little blonde one. I'll put you back in with your friends. With the button quail. They've been laying a lot of little, tiny little eggs for us. These eggs are smaller than a quarter. Can you believe that? Oh, you know what? We need to let Johnny Cash know that he's a he's a daddy again. What's up, Johnny? You're a papa. Hi, Beak. Okay. So we do get a lot of questions about I am Chimani's and if they are well tempered. We did have a couple crazy roosters back when we had some I am Chimani roosters. Oh my God! Ah! Where's that a peacock? Ah! You're horrible! Ah! What are you doing? But Johnny always was the calmest, and that's why we kept him. So in every breed, even the wild ones, sometimes there's a good egg, and Johnny is one of those. Good job. So hopefully that gave you guys a good idea on where to get started with incubators, Those brands and styles and what to look for, what kind of problems they might have, especially trying to hatch this time of year if you don't have a temperature controlled room for them. So hopefully I discouraged you from some of the really cheap incubators and just be aware of if you have to manually turn the eggs or fill the water in the incubator frequently, that those are things that you're prepared to do. You got an I am Chamani. <laughs> Say, I got an I am Chamani. I got an I am Chamani. Now as far as the chicks we hatched out, we have four pure I Am Chimani chicks and three Americana I Am Chimani mixes. Of course, I Am Chimani's are known for their uh, being all black from their feathers to their skin to their beak, even down to their bones.